Hi, good day. Welcome to Phil Korean TV Math Corner. In this video, you will learn how to perform two or more operations on whole numbers with exponents and grouping symbols. Let's take this problem as an example. How can we evaluate this expression? To evaluate this expression, we need to apply the GEMDAS rule. G stands for grouping symbols, E exponents, M multiplication, D division, A addition, and S subtraction. Sa GEMDAS rule, uunahin nating isolve ang nasa loob ng grouping symbols. Dito sa example natin, merong tatlong grouping symbols. Ang uunahin natin sa pag-solve ay ang nasa pinakaloob, ang nasa parenteses. Then, yung nasa brackets, at pagkatapos ay ang nasa braces. Pagkatapos ma-solve ang nasa loob ng grouping symbols, ang susunod na gagawin ay kukunin ang value ng number na may exponent. Then, multiplication or division, left to right yan. And last, addition or subtraction, left to right din ito. Kung alin yung nauna sa kanilang dalawa, yun ang una nating ipiperform na operation. Okay, isolve natin itong problem. Unahin natin sa pag-solve itong nasa loob ng parenteses. I-minus natin ang 3 minus 2. 3 minus 2 equals 1. Okay, next. Etong nasa loob ng brackets ang kukunin natin ang answer. 1 times 2 equals 2. Then, eto na yung nasa loob ng braces. Ang kukunin natin ang answer. 50 divided by 2. 50 divided by 2 equals 25. Okay, naging 25 minus 16. Isubtract na natin ito. 25 minus 16 equals 9. So, the answer for this problem is 9. Another example, 8 times 3 to the third power plus 63 divided by 9 minus 6. Dito, walang grouping symbols, pero merong exponent. Kaya, yung una natin gagawin ay kukunin natin ang value ng number na may exponent. Itong 3 to the third power. Ibig sabihin ito, multiply natin ang 3 ng tatlong ulit sa kanyang sarili. 3 times 3 times 3 equals 27. Ang value ng 3 to the third power ay 27. Kaya, magiging ganito yung ating answer. Next, ipiperform natin yung multiplication and division. Pwede na nating sabayin, kunin ang kanilang answer dahil meron naman sa kanilang nakapagitna na operation. Merong addition. 8 times 27 equals 216. And 63 divided by 9 equals 7. So, yung answer ay magiging 216 plus 7 minus 6. Ngayon, dahil dalawang operations na lang yung natitira, addition and subtraction, ang gagawin natin ay left to right. Magpa-plus muna tayo bago mag-minus. Okay, 216 plus 7 equals 223. And last, 223 minus 6 equals 217. So, the answer is 217. Last, let's solve this problem. Okay, dito, merong grouping symbol at meron ding exponent. Uunahin natin isolve ang nasa loob ng parenteses. Okay, ang nandito ay 4 to the third power minus 4 to the second power. Ang gagawin natin, isisimplify natin o kukunin natin ang value ng bawat number. 
itong 4 to the 3rd power at 4 to the 2nd power bago natin sila i-minus. Ang ibig sabihin ng 4 to the 3rd power ay tatlong ulit nating i-multiply ang 4 sa kanyang sarili. 4 times 4 times 4 equals 64. Then, eto namang 4 to the 2nd power, kukunin din natin ang value. Ang 4 ay gagamitin natin na factor 2 times. Kaya, 4 times 4 equals 16. Ito naman ang value ng 4 to the 2nd power. Okay, tapos na nating isimplify yung exponential notation. Ngayon, i-perform na natin ang operation na nasa loob ng parenteses. 64 minus 16 equals 48. And last, i-divide na natin itong 48 divided by 8. 48 divided by 8 equals 6. So, the answer is 6. That's all for this video. Sana may natutunan kayo sa video ito. See you next time. God bless!